I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect New York strip right now on RBT. But first, watch the intro and I'll crack the top on a champagne velvet. It's so hot. Perfect day for a crispy boy. RBT is Rob's Beer Talk on the web at robsbeertalk.com. Sous vide is a super way to cook, and it's based on the idea that water is a much better conductor of heat than air, for example. What I do is I've taken these two New York strips, sealed them in a vacuum sealer. I had seasoned them before, and I'm going to put them right in the sous vide water bath for now. So if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm using, it's called a loof glider, pretty much is a heat gun, just a long heat gun. It allows you to have no chemicals whatsoever to light your hardwood charcoal. hole. If you ever have complaints or you ever can't get as hot a temperature as you want on your grill, crappy charcoal is the reason why. And not because it won't burn, but because you don't have large, uniform sized pieces like this. You have a bunch of little bitty pieces, almost pebble sized pieces that fill up the bottom of your grill with a lot of dust. Look at all that space in between there where you can get tons of airflow across that, meaning a hotter, better fire, which is gonna be key when I sear these steaks. Next step is to install the cast iron grate, and I'll give it some time to heat up while the steaks are finishing off in the sous vide inside. On the top, and then on the air intake down there on the bottom, wide open. I want that cast iron griddle to get as hot as it can, so when I put the steaks on, I'll just sear them and then pull them off. Okay, so this is this is good. It's uh, maybe been started 10 or 15 minutes, and it's already up to 400 degrees. I'll just let it keep going up so I can put the steaks on. Take a look at these warlords. Now, they're already really cooked, but I just got to get some char and some sear on there. That would be a rare to very rare steak, though. All right, you ready? This is the... This is the fun part. Two on one. And another. And another. Oh, that's a great sound. Man, they are coming along nicely and they sound so great. I don't put any extra smoke on mine because I think the smoke from the meat works just fine. It is really hot out here. This is like one of the hottest days of the year. Hot and humid and the air quality is just no good. That's another little handy dandy thing I would suggest you get. It's called an Instapen. It allows you to test your doneness so easily. Alright, let's check these guys and see where they are. Oh yeah. Medium. So that one's a little bit shy of medium. Perfect. Now to see how it tastes. What about a G? It's, it's good. Very, very good. Very juicy. Very flavorful. Excellent. 